In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own expert looking real estate videos. Once you finish creating your free in video account, you will be redirected to the homepage. Here you will have access to thousands and thousands of different templates and millions of different stock assets, audio, photo, video, whatever you could possibly need to create your video content. So if we type in real estate in the search bar, the filtering menu will show us only the real estate templates. Now here again, you have an unlimited amount of options to choose from. So what are some popular real estate videos that people are posting on social media? You got property listings, just sold, tips and tricks, ads if you're running Facebook or Instagram ads, open house, anything that you can think of. So let's go open house because I know I see a lot of real estate agents posting these kind of videos on Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. What you can do here is you can scroll through some options and I think that we're just going to choose the first one. What I really like about InVideo is that you have three options to choose from when you pick a template. You can go wide, you can go square, and you can go vertical. Now this is great if you're posting on multiple platforms. So if you're posting on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube shorts, then you would go with a vertical video. Now if you're posting on Facebook or any other platform that accepts wide horizontal video, you would go with wide. But here you have all the options you could possibly need and it all works seamlessly. We're just going to choose wide, keep it simple, and we're going to use this template. Once your template finishes loading, you will be redirected to the back end editor. This is where you can actually make changes to your template. Now if I hover over any one of these elements, it will be surrounded by a blue bounding box, which signifies that I can edit that element or I can drag it around. So for example, if I click these boxes, I can drag them over to the right. Now say that was a mistake or I don't really want them there. I can choose the back arrow to undo that change. If I want to edit any of this text, I can double click into it and I can say, you know what? My open house is not on March 15th. It's actually March the 20th and it's actually at 2 p.m. So I've edited that to my liking. Down here, you have in green your audio track. Now, if you double click on this timeline element here, it will break down each individual element and their starting point. So I can drag this over to the left and scrub through the timeline to see where each of these elements start. And I can just click on them here on the timeline. It will show me what that element is, or I can click on them here. If I want to go back to the previous view, I can click on open timeline. It will take me back to where I originally was. I don't want to show this stock image. I want to show an image of my property. We can upload our own images here on the left hand side by clicking upload. We click on upload media. This will open up a folder on our computer and we'll click on the image that we want or we can drag a multitude of different images and click open and that will load them into our image asset folder. Now this is convenient because when you're logged into your account, you will have all your images always in your image asset folder for later use. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose a random image. We're going to drag it over the element that we want to replace. So I want to replace that background image. So you can see as I'm dragging, I can choose different things to replace. So I'm going to choose that background image and you're going to have this pop up menu that opens up and I have two options. I can replace or I can add as a layer. So I want to replace that other image with the image that I'm dragging over. I'm going to click replace and as simple as that, it replaces the image to the one that I want. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this image is a little blurry. It really isn't that way. And that is because this is a preview. So don't worry about that at the moment. Once you export and download this video, everything will be nice and sharp. Now, the other thing is, let's say I don't like the color scheme here. I want to be more branded. Let's just say, for example, this is a compass listing. Compass is black and white. Instead of blue, I want to make all these blue elements black. So I can go and click this blue element here and I can click on fill color or my paint bucket tool. Then I can choose the color black. Now, when I choose that, you'll see a new pop up down here on the bottom left. It says change all. If I click that all of the blue elements change to black one click. So, so far, I just had to drag an image over, click replace, and I just had to make a quick color change. And now this template is customized to me. Now, the final thing that I can do is I can add 
a logo file. So if I click add logo, I can go over to my logos folder. I actually have one here on the left hand side and I'm going to click this compass logo and that's going to replace that image with a compass logo. Now if I go back to the beginning and I click play, it will play my animated video. Here's one problem. This image that I dragged over has no animation applied. It's very static. And I want to make this like, you know, a nice looking video. So what we can do is we can double click into our timeline and then we can either click on the image or we can go down here to our media image. And then we go over and click on animation. We have three options. We can either click in, in place or out. In is the animation for the beginning of the image. Out is the animation for as it's leaving the frame. And then in place, basically this image is in place for throughout the whole duration of this video. So I'm just going to animate the in place animation. And when I click on a drop down, we could do a pan. So we can either pan it from left to right, up to down or whatever. I think what would make more sense is a slow zoom in. So we're going to click zoom in and then we're going to see what that looks like. So now you can see it zooms into that image and it's more dynamic now. That was very quick and simple to do. If I didn't have to explain things, it would have taken me two minutes. Now that we're done, we can go to the top right and we can click download. This is going to open up a drop down and we can choose what resolution we want to download our video at. Normally you want to download it at 1080p or higher. You also have the option to download it at 720. Let's just go with 1080p and we'll click export. This is the export menu. And here on the top left, you can actually name this project. So let's just say modern listing. And if we click the hit enter to save, it will save that project file. And then here on the right hand side is a pretty cool feature. So we can download this onto our computer and then later on log into the different platforms that we want to upload this to and manually do all that. Or we can connect our YouTube, our Facebook, our Twitter accounts directly into NVIDIA. And then instead of having to download this, we can just click share it to YouTube, publish to Facebook, publish to Twitter. So here is my final render. It's finished. As you can see now, it's more high res. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to download this onto our computer and then we will play this back so that you can see what it looks like. Now, there is a cool option that I really like. Once the video is done, we don't have to go back and then create another vertical or square version. You actually have the option right now to basically just duplicate the video and create a vertical version or a square version. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you know what? I want to upload this to Snapchat, TikTok, and a YouTube short and a bunch of other places where it accepts vertical video. So we're also going to download a vertical video. So as you can see, it's created a vertical version of the same exact video. And all we have to do now is just click download. Once our vertical video is done, we'll also download this to our computer. And this is what it looks like. So if you want to try out in video yourself, you can actually create a free account and basically do everything I did and use all of the tools. The only caveat is that there will be a watermark on the video. So you will have to get a paid plan if you want to remove the watermark. But the thing is that this is super affordable. Again, compared to having to get your own software or hire someone like me, this is a do it yourself solution that you can afford fairly easily. So if you're a real estate agent that's just starting out, or maybe you're one that wants to hire someone else on your team to create social media content, this is a great platform because you can also add unlimited members onto your account so your team can all have access and they can all play around with this now here's the cool part we partnered with nvidia and if you sign up today when you use the code bobby millet 25 you will get 25 percent discount on your account so sign up today and if you guys want any more videos like this or have any questions please comment below don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and i'll see you guys soon